Not only can you send messages in Asana, but you can also streamline communication between your team members and clients, keeping everything organized in one central hub. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to send messages in Asana, when it makes sense to do so, and how to maximize this feature for smoother project management. As someone who has used Asana for a few years, both for managing my own business and helping clients get their systems up and running, I've seen how useful this feature can be. Whether it's quick internal communication or client-facing updates, messaging in Asana saves me so much time that I used to spend bouncing between emails, chats, and other platforms. Later in this video, I'll share a few pro tips for using messages more efficiently in Asana. Trust me, these little tricks will not only save you time, but also tons of mental energy. Hi, I'm Samantha, here to help you organize and streamline your business operations so that you can save time and mental energy and focus on what you love to do. Today we're focusing on my number one, my favorite business tool, Asana. If you're new to Asana or maybe you've been using it for a while, but haven't explored all of the features, this video is really going to be helpful for you. Asana's messaging feature is one of those things you might not use right away, but once you do, you'll see just how useful it is. So quick question for you. How do you currently communicate with your team? Are you still relying on emails or do you use a tool like Slack? or maybe a mix of both, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's start with the basics. You can think of Asana's messaging feature like a built-in communication tool, but with a twist. <laughs> you can use it in a couple different ways. You can send regular messages outside of any project or task, just like an email or general messaging tool, or you can connect messages you send to your projects automatically notifying team members, which keeps everything in context. So imagine you're working on a project with a team and instead of jumping over to your email inbox or Slack to send an update or clarify something, you can just send a message right within Asana. It's right there with the project and everything stays organized. Now let me walk you through exactly how to send messages in Asana. So first you're going to open Asana and navigate to the specific project you're working on. Or if it's a general team message, you can be anywhere. So on the left top, you will see this create button with the big plus here. So you're going to click that and then you will see message here. Once you click on message, this window will pop up where you can select who you want to send the message to. So it could be a team member or it could be multiple people. So you can add your subject here. So we're just doing a general message <laughs> and then, you know, hello, and type out your message here. You have numerous options of things you can insert and formatting options, emojis and stuff down here. You can also link to specific tasks or projects within Asana in the message. Um, you can expand it. Maybe that's easier if I just show you like this. And you can use the at sign to see it says here, mention a teammate or link to a task project or another message. So if I wanted to link to my demo project, for example, I would just go like this. Or if I wanted to do a task, um, what's a task? There's like YouTube tasks somewhere. Um, well, here, this is um, the video that I'm working on right now. So <laughs> um, can you send messages in Asana? Uh, so that is the task the um, for the making this video. Uh, so you can do lots of different things within the messages, which is really awesome. And this lets you reference exactly what you're talking about without needing to re-explain things or leave the tool and then things can get messy, right? Um, okay, and then you can just go ahead and send the message from there and your message is sent directly in Asana and you can tie it to a project or task that it's related to. Your team members will get a notification and everything stays in one place. You can also go directly to a specific project if you're already working in a project and just send a message directly from there. So this will stay within the project, notifying the relevant team members and keeping everything in context. So you'll see up here, there's this messages option here or messages tab. So you can send a message to members here and it's the same thing. It brings up the same um, stuff. It just, it's to this demo project and everyone within the project will be notified about it. 
Um, so now you might be wondering how to find messages that others have sent to you in Asana. So to find those um, or replies to messages that you've sent, you can navigate to your inbox here and you can um, you can see messages that you've sent if you want to follow up on them. And also any um, messages that anyone has sent you will appear in your inbox here. Your inbox is where you'll see all notifications of anything that involves you. Um, so I, I don't currently have any messages in here, but if I did, they would appear here. These are comments on other tasks, but they will appear in the exact same way. So I went back in my archive so that I could show you um, exactly what it looks like when you get a message in your inbox. So you'll see this one is uh, has a subject opinion. It's one that I sent and there are replies underneath it. Um, so the messages will show up with this little chat bubble here, whereas you see that the comments on tasks show up as a task here with the check mark beside. So after you viewed your messages and either responded or dealt with them completely, you do want to archive them as I have done. So you can archive them like this. And that way um, you're archiving them so that they don't clutter up your inbox and you can easily see what requires your attention next. All right, let me give you a couple real world examples of how I use this in my own business. So first, when working with clients, I use Asana messaging to send quick updates on the progress of a project. For example, when I was setting up a client's marketing system, instead of shooting them an email every time I had a question or needed feedback, I sent them a message in Asana directly attached to the project. It saved me from jumping back and forth between platforms and the client could reference the exact tasks I was talking about. Second, I also use messages internally with my team. So if I have a general question, I can just send a message in Asana and then I can easily link to any tasks that we may be discussing. This way, my team can see the context immediately and there's no confusion about what we're discussing and we never have to leave Asana. <laughs> All right, now here are a few pro tips to get the most out of Asana messages. So every time you send a message, if you are discussing specific tasks or projects, make sure to link directly to the relevant task or project. This saves everyone the hassle of hunting down what you're talking about and keeps everything organized. For larger projects where you have multiple people working on different tasks, send a message from directly within the project. Instead of sending individual updates to everyone or a message outside of Asana, send one message from within the project. This will automatically notify all team members of that project and you can easily link to any key tasks as well. That way, everyone stays in the loop. Make sure your team knows to consistently check their Asana inboxes to stay on top of notifications. You can customize notifications for specific projects, which is great when some projects are more high priority than others. If this video has you thinking about how much time you could save by using Asana more efficiently, just think about how much more I could help you if you had me in your back pocket. <laughs> With my back pocket support, you can have access to me to go to for any Asana help, setting up or optimizing your processes, streamlining your operations, and more. Go to samanthakasberg.com slash apply to apply to work with me. So one of the biggest benefits of Asana's messaging feature is how it reduces miscommunication. By keeping all of our conversations connected to projects and tasks and within one central tool, I've noticed fewer mistakes and more clarity on both sides. My clients love it too because everything is right there for them. No more searching through emails for that one detail or trying to remember what we had discussed previously. It's just been a massive productivity booster. So next up, check out another awesome feature that you might not have known about. Watch this video next. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful for you and I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.